In this video, I'm going to show you how you can devise a simple little program to keep track of the inventory in your trucks or individual individual salespeople that have uh, inventory with them. So we have three uh, three tables. There are no macros used in this in this in this this application because macros don't run on your phone. And I'm thinking if you're using um, you're using a, ta a, a tablet or a phone, the, the, you, the macros won't run. And so this is using tables and VLOOKUP to do the inventory that you need to keep track of uh, the items. So let's, so we have the inventory. Now the inventory, if you go to table design, the sheet is named inventory and the table is named inventory. So I go to table design, the table name is inventory. I go to the next sheet and um, table design and this is this is used. And the third sheet, I go to table design and it's called incoming. So let's say that you're going out for the week and so you take some parts that you're going to need. So let's say you're taking uh, 25 of these and you're taking um, 15 of these and let's say we're taking 12 of these. And so there you can see the total inventory is there. Now the inventory would be the parts that you're normally taking. You would basically enter the part number and the description and possibly the price if you're responsible for, for paying for these before they go out. Now let's go to the used. So during the week, you're going to use, let's say, 23 of these. You're going to use um, 12, 12 of these. And you're going to use um, 12 of these as well. So now when you go back, to your inventory at the end of the week, you look you look at what you have total in inventory, and you know that you're going to need to get more of the, these three items on the list here. So let's see how I did. I've done this. So I've created tables on each of the three pages, and I have. Let's you go to the incoming first of all. The incoming, we're using the part number, the part number one two three here, and. I'm using VLOOKUP, using the part number. I'm looking to the inventory title, and I'm looking for the fifth column to get the description of this part, and I'm using FALSE to making the exact match. The received quantity is just, is just the quantity. Um, the total quantity is back looking at the VLOOKUP, using the part number, A2. Inventory is the table. Four is the, the column, and false makes it an exact match. The use is the same thing, is we're looking up the description from the inventory page on the fifth column. The use quantity is, a, is just a quantity that's entered. The total quantity is the... Um, is VLOOKUP A2, which is a part number, inventory table, and the fourth column, and false for an exact match. Now, if you wanted to enter a date here, it would just be a matter of going control semicolon, and you could put the date in if that's important to you when this stuff is being used. So the inventory, the received quantity is, is the VLOOKUP coming from the a2 incoming table, the third column, so that's what was what was put in the truck to start with. The use quantity is VLOOKUP A2 for the part number again, my use table, the third the third column, and false for exact match. The total quantity is simply my received minus my use quantity. I hope this will be useful for you to track your your inventory in your trucks. Please subscribe.